All right. All right. Good evening. Welcome to our fourth, no, yeah, fourth night of prayer and praise. Welcome, welcome. We have uh, so many new faces and returning faces. Um, a lot of seventh and eighth graders being represented. We have some older students coming out today. Um, welcome to our CTCC Youth Ministry Dash Movement Prayer and Praise Night tonight. Um, tomorrow is our final night. We ask that if you can uh, safely join us, please do so. If you have uh, been in quarantine and you've been doing all the safe things, please join us. Um, but welcome. I'm excited that you guys are here. This is a big night. Tonight we're going to be singing a bunch of songs and praying for the nations. And we're going to get into it today. Um, I hope you guys are doing well and praying along with us and worshiping with us. Um, if you're at home, and I know this can uh, sometimes get a little bit tedious, uh, but please stand if you're able and pray on your knees if you can. Uh, we have uh, everybody coming out to join us and and preparing um, a lot of time and energy into putting this uh, and hap making this happen. Thank you uh, again for everybody online as well as being present. I can't stress how excited I am about that. So let's get to it. Let's pray, get some songs, and then we'll get to it. Let's pray together. Your love endures forever. God, you are truly an amazing, awesome God. And we're excited to lift up our voices in prayer and praise for you are worthy. For you are so wonderful and cosmic that you put the stars in its place. And we are out here, outside, uh, because of what's going on in the world, with masks on, um, six feet apart and so on, to just worship you. We're doing our best, O oh Lord, in all that we have been given and using it to be good stewards of your kingdom. And if that means we worship outside, let it be so. We thank you that we are able to worship you even outside these walls uh, that, that's being built for your future ministry. And as we do so and we project um, praise onto it, let it be ingrained onto it, O oh Lord. So help us. Uh, by sending your spirit, joining us and leading us and guiding us so that we sing from the, the bottom of our hearts to the, to the core of our souls, uh, more than just lip service, more than just good thoughts. Let it be a praiseworthy night for you. Help guide our brothers and sisters who are leading this and they are tired, but God, it is all for you. Uh, they're tired for the right reason, and it is praiseworthy too. We thank you, O Lord, and uh, there's so many things we're going to be praying for. Uh, help us to prepare our hearts and minds uh, for the right mindset and heart set for the right prayers, O Lord. Let us not waste these moments. Let us not be distracted. Let us not be wandering. But let, it, let us be focused on you. So let us put aside our phones and devices and tablets and whatever may be idols in our lives. And just let us lift it up to you as we sing these words to you. As it is lifted and elevated onto you. God, receive them with open ears and open arms uh, and receive us. We thank you, God. And we, we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise team. Let's go. Lift my praise to you. I lift my hands. I lift my worship to you, and I love you more than I can say. Oh, I love you more than I can say. And I will 
sing on the Uriadar. Glorify my Lord on the Uriadar. For the world will fade away. So as long as you remains on the Uriadar.
nothing compares to this. What a wonderful name it is, the name of Jesus. What a wonderful name it is, the name of Jesus. Please be seated. We have, um, as more people are coming in, we're going to get into the first prayer. The first prayer for tonight and the theme for tonight's uh, prayer topics are about the nations. Um, so on Monday, we went through the ACTS prayer as in preparation for this week. On uh, Tuesday, we pray for our family and friends. Yesterday, we pray for the injustice and social justice needs, and we pray for uh, even like cyberbullying. We pray for the things uh, that are kind of weighing in us. And we also pray for the persecution of Christians. And tonight, we pray about we're praying about uh, the nations. First, and most prominently, we need to pray about COVID-19, the coronavirus. Uh, in the U.S. alone, uh, we have over 213,000 deaths, and that number is rising every day. Uh, there's a, a certain point where numbers uh, don't make much sense to us. It's like beyond comprehension. But when we see people, especially the people we know struggling through this, we understand that it is uh, 
close, uh, and it, it affects all of us. Many of us maybe not, maybe didn't get to see it firsthand, uh, but we have doctors and nurses, and we have frontline workers at our church who face this, uh, this uh, virus every day. We have members in our church who uh, were contracted this virus, and they've been hospitalized. Uh, this virus is doesn't understand. It doesn't need to understand. Um, it is unbiased. It goes after Christians and un, non-Christians. It goes after men and women and children. There, there, it doesn't have any bias. And we, and we, uh, as Christians, sometimes during this last six months or so, many of us kind of wavered and we faltered this this virus is affecting us more than just the physical quarantine and and the physical separation and six feet and and mask requirements and what have you and it's doing more to us psychologically and spiritually and emotionally than just the physical separation and so we want to take this time to pray we will pray for the families that have lost loved ones we want to pray for those who are recovering or contracting this disease. We want to pray for the frontline workers. We want to pray for uh, the communities that this virus is affecting way more than others. And it is up to us as Christians to lift up these prayers to the Lord. Not because the, the Lord is blind to this or deaf to this. But he wants to hear from his children. And so that's why we pray. So there are a couple of countries in the world that are struggling with this virus way more. Uh, the U.S. is one of the top. And so we want to lift up our nation, this country, to the Lord. So let us pray together.
let us take this time to pray uh, for the upcoming election that uh, this will not be more divisive uh, let it let this nation cry out for a Christ-like leadership throughout It is that time, especially um, in Arizona, is becoming a, 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 a topic and a discussion because it might become, or it is, a swing state. And many of us, maybe we're not voting, or maybe we're not uh, even old enough to, and maybe we don't care. Uh, but it, it's something that Christians should care about, even if we can't, because um, God listens to all of us. We want to also pray for the healing of this nation. There's a lot of uh, stuff happening all over. We want to lift up uh, the Native American uh, tribes that are nearby just down the street from us um, they're being affected heavily by this virus um, the dream center that we are partnered with we want to lift up uh, pastor Ramon and his family and Nogales we want to lift up pastor Conrad and Heidi and their family and the ministry in Rocky Point. Uh, they're, uh, they've contacted us and they're having a hard time. So we want to really lift up these prayers so that the Lord God, who is the provider of all things, will meet their needs. So let us pray. Let us pray for our neighbors. Let us pray for the missionaries, our brothers and sisters in Christ. Let us pray together. With the same prayerful heart, with the same prayerful mind, we're going to lift up some songs. So continue in your prayers if you are praying. And we're going to uh, lift these songs up in continuation of our prayers.
you are welcome here. More than my words can say, Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. In all my weakness, you are confident. Jesus, I love you. Sings heaven open over me to your name eternally endless glory I will bring
So now let us continue with the same prayerful heart for the second prayer topic, which is to pray for the nations. Uh, there are many nations right now going through persecution. There are some civil unrest all over the world. There's even a genocide that's happening as we speak. And there are people being displaced. And uh, as we uh, gather uh, as Christians, uh, watching bloodshed of our own brothers and sisters all across the world, we, we can't just stay silent. And so we lift up uh, the voices of people who can't cry out to, uh, to God. And as we stand in front of the new building that is to be, uh, what good are these walls if it's not for prayer? What good are these walls if it's not for worshiping? What good, are, what good is it if it's just for us? And if it's not meant to preach the gospel, to bring good news to every corner forever, for all time. And so we come out here as in the middle of construction, uh, in the middle of a pandemic, because God is worth it. And because we know God is glorious and good and we know he hears us. And so we lift up the nations. There are nations that, of brothers and sisters who are being persecuted where the gospel cannot even be reached. There are missionaries as we speak uh, who are translating God's word, who are praying for the nations, discipling people to become more like Christ. We have missionaries right now in our church who can't go to their uh, the land that, they, that God has promised them because of the COVID-19. So we need to pray to get our missionaries there. I have friends that have even come by. We have friends that came to our church to preach good news and about their heart and passion about their nations and they've been kicked out of the said countries because because of the pandemic and so we need to pray for the nations we need to pray that god moves and heals these nations so that missionaries and god's word may be proclaimed and preached and and every heart will confess that lord jesus christ is king so let us pray now for the nations to receive that the nations will be healed and that our missionaries will be able to go and those who are there to continue to fight the good fight. So let us pray.
Uh, let us pray this time. I have a special prayer request. I came in uh, actually last night and today. Um, many of you guys know who Pastor Joseph Lee is. Um, you know, if you don't know him directly, you know Christine and Josh. Um, Pastor Joseph's father uh, kind of abruptly got sick and he went to the hospital today. And so uh, I, I'd like for us to pray for his family and um, pray for his father, uh, Christine and Josh's grandfather, uh, that he will have a quick recovery. He is currently, he went and had some biopsies and things, and so we'll see what happens. But um, like if you would please lift up their family in prayer now. So let us pray together. Our next prayer request is uh, this this week we've been praying for the youth ministry specifically our members on Monday we prayed for seventh eighth and ninth grade women and Tuesday we prayed for the seventh and eighth grade guys uh, yesterday we prayed for the ninth and tenth grade guys today we'll be praying for the eleventh uh, and twelfth twelfth uh, grade guys I'll call out their names, and if you will, just pray with me as I call out each name, and we'll pray through them. Uh, let's pray for Isaac, Joseph, Joshua, Kenneth, Kevin, Michael, let's pray for Justin. Logan, Uriel, Egon, Eddie, and Psalm. So let's just take this time to lift up our brothers to the Lord.
Lord, Heavenly Father, Mighty God, Abba, Father, we call out to you because we need uh, your presence. We need your active hands and your healing hands upon the nations. And we need you, O oh God, to be with us. We need you, God, more than ever, especially during this time where everything seems upside down. And uh, we need you to be ever more present. We need more Christians to step up and take the leadership role of proclaiming your name boldly so that Christ-likeness will be reflected in all things, in all areas of our life, be it in politics or in the healing of the nations or in medical ways or, or financial ways or however, however, however it is, oh Lord, may your glory fall on us. May the nations, oh Lord, I, I can't wait, God, I can't just wait. I can't wait until we see every nation call out the name of Jesus. I can't wait until every nation, tribe, and tongue are able to praise these songs in their own language uh, so that the choir of angels will be uh, singing with us as, as even one individual comes to know and give their life and confess that Jesus is Lord. We can't wait, O oh Lord, until we celebrate with heaven here. And we can't wait, O oh Lord, so move us. Uh, burn a fire in us and move, make our hands and feet work toward your kingdom, building nations up in, the, in, in Christ's image. And we ask, O oh God, that you'll be with us now as a church for our brothers. And may our brothers, as they get ready uh, for their next stage of life, be it in college and the uncertainties of whatever's next, that they would do so with confidence and boldness and faith, O oh Lord, with compassionate love for the people that you have put into their lives. We ask that this church will grow in spirit and in truth as we do so in worship. We ask that you'll be especially tender and loving toward Pastor Joseph and his family at this time. Comfort them and give them peace and understanding and help them, O oh Lord, in this process so that they may be comforted knowing that you, O oh mighty Father, is sovereign in all things. And as we continue to sing songs and lift up uh, these songs and prayers to you, uh, we thank you. We thank you in advance for all that you will do. Thank you for giving us the insight and, and even uh, foresight into your glory and we thank you that jesus you will come soon and that you have commissioned us to make this better for you we thank you oh god and we pray this in jesus name amen let's stand up for these next couple of songs
breathe on your church, pour out your presence, speak through your word. We pray in every nation, Christ be known, a hope and salvation, Christ alone. again. Lord, would you hear our cry? Lord, will you heal our land? Then every eye will see, that every heart will know. The one who took us in, the one who died and rose, church, pour out your presence, speak through your word, we pray in every nation, Christ be known, our hope and salvation, Christ alone. Give us clean hands, give us pure hearts, let us not lift our souls to another. Give us clean hands, give us pure hearts, let us not lift our souls to another. We bend our knees, O oh Spirit, come make us humble. We turn our eyes from evil things, O oh Lord, we cast down our idols. So give us clean hands, give us pure hearts, let's not with our souls to another. Give us clean hands, give us pure hearts. Let us not lift our souls to another. Give us clean hands, give us pure hearts. 
Let us not lift our souls to another. Give us clean hands. Give us pure hearts. Let us not lift our souls to another. God, let us be a generation that seeks, that seeks your face. Oh, God of Jacob, God, let us be a generation that seeks, that seeks your face. Oh, God of Jacob, give us clean hands. Give us pure hearts. Let us not lift our souls to another. Give us clean hands. Give us pure hearts. Let us not lift our souls to another. Let us be a generation that seeks that seeks your face oh god of jacob god let us be a generation that seeks that seeks your face oh god of jacob surrender I surrender I want to know you more I want to know you
like a rushing wind. Jesus breathed within. Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way.
generations and your family and your children and the children and the children may his present be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and the children and the children may his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and your children and your children may his presence go before you and behind you and beside you all around you and within you all for you he is with you in this morning in the evening in your coming and your going in your weeping and rejoicing he is for you 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 children and the children may his presence go before you and behind you and beside you all around you and within you he is with you he is with you in the morning in the evening in your calling and your going in your weeping and rejoicing he is for you he is for you he is for you, he is for you, he is for you, he is for you, he is for you. 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 
He is for you. He is for you. He is for you. That's the fourth night of our prayer and praise week. Our students, these are high school, middle school students out here, and they are, uh, this is their fall break. And they're giving it all because this is worth doing. And they're doing it even with masks on. They've been out here since like four in the heat, setting up, and uh, you know, I'm honored. Uh, to be just able to serve and pray for them and uh, and people wonder like how how does this happen like there are people in our church wondering like why why do we come out here and and they get excited because if youth students are able to have this much passion for Jesus then Gosh, what, I'm so excited for what's coming up, and I'm eager. And so it is with uh, kind of a heavy heart to even ask for an encore, but do you guys want an encore? Yeah, I think so. You guys have one more? No? <laughs> no, I think it's too much. for to Oh, they have one more. I, I stand corrected. Uh, let's let's finish up, you guys. Uh, thank you for coming out. Thanks for joining us online. God bless you. We'll finish this with uh, one with one encore, and we'll go. Uh, God bless you. I love you guys. I lift my praise to you. I lift my hands. I lift my worship to you. And I love you more than I can say. Oh, I love you more than I can say. I will sing. Only you will I adore, glorify my Lord. Only you will I serve, for the world will fade away. Still my song to you remains, only you will I adore. I lift my praise to you, with my hands, with my worship to you, and I love you more than I can say. Oh, I love you more than I can say. And then I will sing, only you will I adore. Glorify my Lord, only you will I serve, for the world will fade away. Still my song to you remains, only you will I adore.
sing Only you will I adore Glorify my Lord Only you will I serve For I will 